Peggy 16. Why is an action adventure game about the relationship between man and nature? We want the player to experience things, to learn how the wild world works. Your character really uh, represents the experience that you have in the game. For example, you've got a lot of tattoos on the body. Every tattoo is an experience of your character. The world is huge, so you can explore and have the feeling of freedom. We are working on an open world game with a very large world and we can go anywhere we want, anywhere. We don't have any restriction on this side. The inspiration for wild really comes from my childhood. I was spending a lot of time uh, in the wild nature. It's something that is there in my mind for a long time. I've been working on games where the forest and the wild world is very important. For example, Rayman started in the jungle. To develop the universe of wild, I asked the team to go in the wild nature, like a surviving experience, and feel and smell and really be immersed in what is the wild world. We wanted to go in the wild and old places to get a lot of real materials in order to build our characters and all objects in the shaman environment. The journey of an object from the real world to the game is going through a process which is photogrammetry. So we take a lot of pictures and then it's building the 3D model of the object directly from those pictures. So we can use real wild objects in our real wild game. <laughs> Every time I hire people, it is my first question. Do you have animals at home? Do you like animals? Every five seconds, we come up with a new idea of what a cool thing an animal would do. There's this kind of constant inspiration just in nature. So you've just seen our trailer at Paragames Week and I'm going to go through the gameplay demo and show you what's cool playing wild. Save her, shaman. I really wanted the main character to carry the values of the game, like for example, uh, he's not a warrior, so he's got um, a wood stick because he's more a sorcerer, he's a shaman. And the main thing is the fact that you can jump from a human character to any animal. I can call an eagle, for example, a wild eagle. And what makes the game really cool is that when you call a bird like that, you can go into his uh, spirit and control the bird. And you've got a new point of view of the same world. So once you, you control your eagle, you realize that the eagle is a hunter. And here, uh, we want to hunt a new animal because in wild, you can catch any animal and summon the divinity of this animal. Another very nice thing is that you can call giant bears. And you can use them as very powerful vehicles. It's a very nice way to have another perspective, another point of view of the same game. But your biggest enemy in wild is the other humans. Here, for example, we are arriving in a cannibal camp, which is very dangerous. So I'm going to use another animal. And this is very interesting because you will see here combinations of gameplays with different animals. And then attack. then I can continue my way to the giant divinity. My goal is to then take my snake and summon the snake divinity. The divinities represent the forces of nature. They can be unpredictable, they can be dangerous. 
maybe the divinity will ask for a very dangerous challenge to prove that I have the knowledge of the snakes. So everything is never easy win. You have to prove that you understand the world of wild. PS4 for the players.